Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to finally sit down and do a full color process. I'm gonna show you my updated process that is so quick and easy. So if you are looking to kind of brighten up either your roots or you have a grown out balayage and you wanna kind of brighten up your base, this is the video for you. But I've definitely simplified it over the years and now that I'm a new mom, I want a coloring process that is easy to do and much more time conscious. So that's what this is. And the reason why I'm also showing this tutorial is because so many times people try to lift their base with color alone and that's how you end up with really brassy reddish kind of orange roots or like this unwanted warmth in this midsections or even more commonly in the root area. So here is my updated base color and highlight routine. So for my base color, I'm going to be going in with Isalon's color. You guys know that I've been working with Isalon since I think 2014, so it's been many years now for a good reason. Isalon is the epitome of great at-home color. And as always, with my discount code, you get Isalon color kits for $11 plus free shipping. So that's 50% off plus free shipping. That's an incredible deal considering you are getting salon quality color delivered to your door for nearly a better price than boxed color. But also extremely important is having a color that is expertly matched for you. And with eSalon, you get both. So thank you to eSalon for sponsoring the color portion of this tutorial. And for my base color, I'm going in with level 7N. So I'm applying color to the roots and starting in the back and working my way forward. I personally just like to go over the edges of each quadrant that I'm doing first and then go in in horizontal sections to make sure that I don't miss a spot. So when you order an Isalon color kit, you get fresh color and you get a unique color that was formulated just for you. So you never get color that's just been sitting on a shelf. Then I'm going to process this for 30 minutes and then we're on to the next step. And the formula used for my highlights was one and a half ounces of 30 volume developer mixed with one and a half ounces of my powder lightener. I'm going to go in with as minimal foils as absolutely possible. I'm gonna work off my natural center part and do about three to four foils on each side. So starting off on the part, I like to do a baby light here. Something that's a little bit softer so that as the hair is parted, you see lightness all the way to the roots, but you don't see a chunky highlight. This almost gives like a shimmer brightening to the hair. And a big key tip here is to always go in with thin, thin, small sections. The thinner the section, the better saturation you're going to get with the lightener and therefore the better results you're going to get. Sometimes when you're wanting to lighten the hair, it, it seems like putting more hair in the foils, the more highlights you're gonna have. But in fact, what that's really doing is just leaving more room for error and possibly creating more brassiness and more orange highlights rather than fewer highlights with a perfect brightening tone. So I like to do about two foils of the baby lights and then below I like to go in a little bit thicker with the weave of the highlight just to get a little more impact on the lightness since I'm only doing a little bit of foils. So 
then I'm going to come to the other side and do the exact same thing. Two foils of the baby lights and one to two foils of the thicker and brighter highlights. Also, this is a great technique for whether you want to highlight, baby light, or balayage your hair. You can always add a little more contrast at the root. You can smudge the root a little bit lower for that more balayaged effect. So I don't like to focus too much on the technique when it comes to applying the lightener. I like to look at that more artistically later with my root smudge and my toners. And I'm going to process that for 45 minutes. All right, now that we're all processed, we are ready to tone. I'm going to be using this formula here for my root smudge, and I'm going to apply it just very closely to the scalp. As I move the hair around, it has a tendency to move down a little bit further. So a very little amount of this root smudge will go a very long way. And as you can see, the closest to my face, I really just do a slight tap at the roots because closer to the face, I want those brightening pieces to come up as close to the root as possible. Once I've got my root smudge applied, I am ready to apply my all over toner. And here is the formula for my all over toner. And I'm first going to apply this to the mid sections. I always like to leave my ends for the very last few minutes, just because the hair at the ends can be so much more porous. And when looking at the hair, it always looks more natural and more of a salon finish when the ends are a little bit brighter than your mid sections and a bit brighter than your roots. So you're almost creating this very, very soft gradient from root to ends. And because I didn't really lighten my ends, there isn't much to tone. It really is just a refresh. So once I've got the toner applied to my midsections, I process for 15 to 20 minutes. Then I'm going to rinse this out. Then I'm going to do an Olplex number three treatment on my hair. I'm going to leave it on for 10 minutes and then follow with my normal shampoo and conditioner routine. All right guys, and it is the next day and here are the results. So super minimal highlights for what I feel is a pretty impactful brightening effect. This has been my go-to lightening approach the last couple of months. And the beauty of doing a root tap and doing kind of more of this subtle color is that it will just grow out so naturally and organically. And I can go easily three to four months without highlighting again. I hope you found this helpful. If you do try this out, please let me know. It is always the best compliment when I either meet one of you guys in person or you leave me a comment saying that you've tried one of my formulas and you now love your hair. Also, if you're interested in becoming even more of an expert in your own coloring, your own beauty, and you're interested in my beauty masterclass, Live and Look Lux, I will leave all the information down below. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.